As the Greenville community continues to mourn the loss of a 14-year-old boy who was killed in a hit-and-run crash Tuesday night, police continue their search for the driver responsible. Tonight, perhaps a breakthrough. Michigan State Police say they have a new lead in this case. News 8's Taylor Morris was at MSP's Grand Rapids Post today. She's in studio tonight with more on what we're learning. Taylor? Yeah, Brian, police tell me they have found a vehicle of interest in that deadly hit-and-run accident, which shook the Greenville community just two nights ago. The vehicle has been uh, brought to the lab and uh, will be further processed. Tonight, police could be one step closer to finding the person responsible for the hit-and-run crash that killed a 14-year-old boy and injured two others late Tuesday, just outside of Greenville. Although MSP says they have found a vehicle of interest, investigators continue to work to confirm if it is the car that hit those three teenage boys. What we want to uh, caution individuals on, we do not know if this is the actual vehicle until after the further processing. So we don't want anyone to be posting on social media that the vehicle has been found until we can determine if this is the actual vehicle. It happened Tuesday night around 930. The boys were walking on the side of the road when a car veered off the roadway and hit the teens. The 14 year old died on scene and the two others were taken to a local hospital with non life threatening injuries. Police say it was through an investigative lead that they found the vehicle of interest early this afternoon. The tips that the public have been calling in, we've been actively following up on those tips and uh, a, a culmination of investigative leads, tips would always help us in our investigations. In an email, Greenville Public Schools Superintendent says the incident has not only impacted the families involved, but everyone in the community as well. The district provided mental health support to students and staff at the middle school today. MSP says it is still an ongoing investigation. We want to make sure we do our due diligence and we, we investigate this to the fullest extent. MSP is still encouraging anyone who might know something to call. Brian.